It's a flying circle plane. Kind of ridiculous. Uh, this is about the easiest thing you can build, seriously. Um, this is one inch wide, uh, one thirty second balsa, and literally you just curl it around, no water or anything. I've got a little overlap join here. I've got it on a shim so it's angled upward. Uh, I don't know, what is that? I'm going to say three degrees. Um, got some uh, incidents built in the tail because these are really inefficient, so you got to fly them around nose high. This piece is a little shorter. I think it's about 20 inches. Again, just roll it around. Uh, you need fairly light three, th uh, sorry, 132nd balsa to take that curve, uh, but I, I did do it dry. It does work. Um, and this is just a strip of uh, 1 8 by 1 4 balsa. Props are available on our store and any kind of rear hook. CG has to be fairly far aft because, like I said, these are very inefficient. So the CG is probably about here with the rubber band loaded aboard. So really simple. Um, I'm flying on a loop of 332nd. It would be happier on 1 8 because, like I said, they're really, really inefficient. But they work. More power. Oh boy. Oh no, it's it's gone. It's in the top of a tree. Crap. Yeah, so I um I'm not getting that plane back. So we're gonna make another one. So here's some one eight balsa. I'm going to strip it down um, to the desired thickness and it's almost the right thickness but not quite. You don't need super hard 1 8 but it needs to be decently hard. So there we have it, and we'll come back to this in a little bit. I, well, no, we'll do it now. I'm going to make it about 20 inches long, maybe 22 inches long. So, 18, 20, I'll make it 20, uh, 24 inches long for now, just to be on the safe side. And then we're going to level the end here. Just like that. Go ahead and stick a propeller on the front. make a rear hook for it. Which 
just like that. And about six inches from the back, we're going to punch it down here. Like so. So that's in place. This is a sheet of uh, two inch by 36 inch by 332 second balsa. It is not exceptional wood, but it's not terrible. is actually Midwest Balsa with their old label on it here. Um, which I don't think Midwest even makes cuts Balsa anymore. Anyway, I'm just going to show you. you. Just bend it around like that. Super, super easy. I have a circle around my face. All I'm doing is putting glue right there. I'm going to try to line this up so that it's straight. Literally. That's all there is to it. Alright, this is a scrap piece of um, about one inch wide. Is it one inch? No, it's only three quarters inch. Ideally, one inch wide. Um, one thirty second. And we're going to make this decently large. You know what? We're going to make it the same size. We're going to make the same size as the wing. Got some excess to trim off right here. Put some glue on the end, same way as before. Now this is really light wood here, so do bear that in mind. Um, you don't have to have super light wood, but uh, certainly helps. Lighter airplanes fly longer. Now to install this, I'm going to stick it on this bevel portion underneath, just like that. I'm going to end up gluing it about like that so I get a little bit of right rudder trim. Just like that. That also gives me some up elevator, which is hopefully going to work. I may need to put a 1 16th uh, strip right here because this is a little on the floppy side. So my wing is going to go up out here. I think that's about right. That's about six inches back. glued it right at the overlap you can see there. Alright, so the airplane's built, but like I said, this is flopping around. If this gets pulled back, that gives you down elevator. You don't want that. So, I'm going to take a strip of 1 16th back here. I'm going to run it from down here. Up to the top. So what I'll do first, I'm going to glue it to the side of my fuselage. So you can see right there, nothing complicated. 
go up top here. I'm actually going to cut a, um, a notch for this to fit into. That is not even close to centered. That's terrible. Wow, terrible workmanship on this. What idiots building this? See, the smart person would have measured where is the center of my circle? Based it off of that. That involves thinking, and I find thinking very difficult. I mean, it strains my brain and things. There we go. So now, I don't know how well that shows up, but it's inclined forward just a little bit. It's not moving around. And so... Get off the excess. And there we have it. Piece of cake. CG is about there, which is a little on the forward side, but I think we can make it work. Alright, so a strip of rubber here. Hit a little bit long, not too long. Get a splice in my rubber here. It's dreadful. like so. And this is 1 8 inch rubber by the way. FAI Tan Super Sport. This is Molly Coat 33, ultimate rubber lubricant. So we get the rubber nice and slimy, and there we have it. These don't really glide. I mean, it sort of does. But it's not diving in, it's kind of holding flat, so it should fly. Alright, so we're wound up a little bit. And, wow! That's actually, um, that's actually tail heavy. I don't think it's tail heavy per se. I think that it needs down thrust. So, I'm gonna make a slit right here. Get that down like that. I don't think we need quite that much down thrust, but that lets me get glue in there. Get us what we're after. Looking a little better, but still not quite. Let's see if after the power bleeds off, it's a little better. Yeah, a whole lot better. It just needs more down thrust. <laughs> All right, let's go again. Well, that's entertaining. Oh. We're going places. We just don't know where those places might be.
Move the rear peg forward a bit. So we're gonna see what we can get out of that. The um, wind has picked up, so this may be a bit dicey. Looking good though. Definitely does not like the wind. That's sad. I shortened the rubber motor, so hopefully that'll help things. Slightly. Hopefully I don't lose this one too. Not looking good though. These things don't turn very well. Dang. Treed. Even more power. And it's just magnetically drawn to trees. turns this time. That's awesome. I hope you have enjoyed this build and fly of circle plane. Hope y'all will give y'all these one these a try and uh, enjoy some crazy weird free flight shenanigans. We'll see you around. Hi, I'm Josh Finn. This is Hope. We are J and H Aerospace. If you like this video, hit the like button. Also, how about subscribe to our channel and check out jhaerospace.com for new free flight products and all of the tooling that you'll need to build them. Thanks for watching.